Hello all, welcome back to Zoological Point. My name is Kyle, and today on Species Spotlight, we'll be taking a look at the largest reptile in North America, the Florida native American alligator. Alligators are members of the Crocodilia order and have been around for quite a while. In fact, the first alligators started popping up in Canada around the Cretaceous period. These colossal fossils haven't changed much over the course of millions of years, and why would they? Crocodilians have essentially mastered their niche as apex predators in almost every ecosystem they inhabit. Well, almost every ecosystem they inhabit. It's quite an easy life. Just become big enough so that no other animal wants to mess with you, and hang out in the water, wait for them to come to you, then jump out of them, grab them, death roll them, and you're all set. When it comes to eating, alligators are anything but picky. Their diet includes, but is not limited to, Turtles, fish, crabs, waterfowl, egrets, dogs, cats, deer, barrel hogs, bobcats, raccoons, muskrats, Burmese pythons, and even citrus fruits. It's Florida after all. In order to catch all this food, you have to have good tools, and as luck would have it, alligators just happen to have some. To be precise, they have about 80 of them, and it's not just the teeth that are impressive. The bite of an American alligator can exceed 13,000 newtons. That's heavier than two grand pianos. That's a surefire method of making sure that your prey will be flat. Sorry, I had to. Anyway, let's talk about their size. Now, at the top of the video, I mentioned that these guys are the largest reptile in North America. And they're quite huge. The average length for a male is about 13 feet long and about 790 pounds. And females usually measure in around seven and a half feet long with a usual weight of about 200 pounds. The largest specimen that's ever been documented was from Marshall Island, Louisiana, and this particular gator was 19 feet long. Crikey! Now I've mentioned that you can find them in Florida as well as Louisiana, so let's talk about where you can find them. Alligators, of course, are reptiles and need a warm environment in which to survive, so it's no surprise you can find them in the southeastern United States. These prehistoric predators range from North Carolina all the way to Texas can be found in just about every swamp, bayou, and wetland in between. Fun fact, the American alligator and American crocodile only overlap in one area, the southern part of Florida, as American crocs tend to thrive more in salt water. American alligators are iconic species, they're even the state reptile of Florida, Mississippi, and Louisiana. However, their relationship with people has been a bit of a rocky one. Throughout the 1900s, alligators were killed and captured to be placed in alligator farms for their meat and skin, which can be used to create expensive clothes and accessories. In 1973, the American alligator was placed on the endangered species list and was protected under federal law. Today, they're listed as least concerned, and there are approximately 5 million of these overgrown lizards roaming throughout the southern swamplands. Alligator farms are still a common occurrence, especially in the south, and continue to be questionable for their care especially with the common practice of gator wrestling. The only good alligator farm that I'm aware of is St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park. Located in St. Augustine, Florida, this zoo focuses a lot more on the conservation of endangered crocodilians, as they have almost every single species here. They focus a lot on breeding and helping populations of endangered crocodilians throughout the world. I love this zoo, and you'll definitely be seeing a lot more of this zoo in the future of the channel. Speaking of breeding, alligators are quite the romantic type. Once it's time to court a mate, alligators perform a water dance, which consists of an infrasonic wave that they use to make water dance along their back. American alligators are actually among the smartest crocodilians and are extremely vocal as well. Apparently all that bellowing drives the lady gators crazy and shortly after, mating follows. Alligator mothers make a large nest out of leaves, foliage, and sticks, and then she lays the eggs and hides them inside. Another interesting fact about alligators, when it comes to incubation, temperature determines the gender of the hatchling. If the temperature is over 90 degrees, the babies will be male. If it's below, they'll be female. Once they hatch, the mom becomes a great guardian. People don't tend to realize that crocodilians are great parents, but then again, what kind of animal would try to steal a hatchling right out of the mouths of a mama gator? That's right, to protect their babies, mothers carry their children around in their mouths. It's actually really adorable to see moms carry the babies around, even though it does kind of look like she is trying to eat them. 
You can easily tell a younger alligator from an older alligator by their coloration. When they're babies, American alligators have very vivid yellow stripes. And if you don't think a reptile can be cute, you clearly haven't seen a baby alligator. Or heard one for that. Take a listen to this. I bet you feel kind of silly right now. American alligators are quite the fascinating animal, and I hope you've learned something new about them. That's all the time I've got for this episode of Species Spotlight. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, and I'll see you later, alligator.